Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn another hacker rank problem called as cut the sticks. Let's quickly read the question and try to understand what we need to perform in this particular problem. You are given a number of sticks of varying lengths. You will iteratively cut the sticks into smaller sticks, discarding the smallest pieces or the shortest pieces until there are none left. At each iteration, you will determine the length of the shortest stick remaining. Cut that length from each of the longest sticks and then discard all the pieces of that shortest length. When all the remaining st sticks are the same length, they cannot be shortened, so discard them. Right? Now, let us try to understand with a simple input. Here is the input wherein they are saying that there are six sticks and this is the length. And there is also an explanation given out here. And then we will try to look at it in a different perspective. Right. Here is the input which was given in the hacker rank. We had six sticks and this is the size of the sticks. The first sticks was of length 5. The second stick was of length 4. The third stick is again of length 4. Fourth and fifth sticks are of length 2. And the sixth stick is of length 8. We are supposed to find out the smallest one. Right? The smallest one or the shortest one is the fourth and the fifth stick and whose length is 2. And we need to cut every longest stick by length 2 out here. Now after cutting it, what happens is the first stick, if this portion, the 2, okay, length is cut, we will have a remaining portion of 3. Second one will have a remaining portion of 2. Third one will have a remaining portion of 2. The fourth and fifth stick will be completely removed. And the sixth, okay, we'll have a remaining portion of six. It looks somewhat like this. Clear? Okay. Now we need to repeat this operation as long as there are any stick left. So we have four sticks left here. Now the first stick is of length three. Second and third stick is of length two. And the last stick is of length six. Among this, the smallest is the second and third one whose length is two. So we cut every... Uh, other stick with this particular length like we'll cut here and then we cut here right so after this operation the first stick will have a remaining length of one the last stick will have a remaining length of six or oh, sorry from six if you remove two it will have a remaining of four it looks somewhat like this right now again among these two sticks which are remaining the first stick you can just observe it has uh, length one which is the shortest right and then you need to cut this one by the length one so you left out with only one stick of length three right and then since there is no other sticks left out and this is the only uh, stick with length three we want to discard this right and finally this is what is going to remain so we are basically supposed to uh, print how many sticks were there before every cut remember initially we had six sticks but after the first cut, we were left out with four sticks. Then after the second cut, we were left out with two sticks. And then after the last uh, cut, we were left out with one stick. And finally, we were left out with zero sticks. So we require an output to be displayed like six, because there are six sticks, then four, then two, then one. Right? Now let's, okay, jump into the program. Okay. The first thing is we'll try to read the input as it said like the first line will basically contain the number of sticks okay and uh, I'll try to use input since it gives me a string I'd like to convert it to integer this is fine okay the next line will give me the length of all the sticks again I'll be using input but this will read the entire string as one string okay uh, like one value or one string so I need to use split and this will give me a list of elements, but every element is a string. So I basically need to uh, use this list comprehension or a map function to convert everything from a string to an integer. So I'll just use int of element or element in. Remember, this was giving me a list. So now I'll capture this into an, a variable or a list variable called as stick length stick length fine till it's fine okay now what we need to do with this we need to basically print uh, how many sticks are there right so initially okay the first time it will be the same as whatever you entered 
and after this what we are supposed to do it is we are supposed to find out which is the smallest stick in order to find out the smallest stick i'll be taking up uh, the help of the minimum function right once i take the help of the minimum function to find out the smallest stick right i'll just write smallest or you can say shortest stick okay i got this right if you want to verify have you calculate the minimum small properly or not you can try to print this and verify this right after this what you're supposed to do is we are supposed to uh, reduce the length of every stick right by the length of smallest stick so again i'll be using a list comprehension for element in stick length right what i need to perform i need to perform element minus this so this will basically cut every stick by the length of the smallest one so again i would like to capture this back into stick length clear this is fine okay but okay remember uh, here the smallest stick values will be turned out to be zero okay let's quickly uh, try to print this one till here and then okay observe what is the result till here and then we'll try to okay think what is the next operation right so as per the input given there were six sticks there were five four four two two and eight the smallest is two but we are not printing the smallest stick value but after cutting every stick it should be like three two two zero zero six okay there was a spelling mistake uh what is mistake stick length where is the stick length yeah here right okay let's quickly run this so we have six then five four four two two and eight got it now i need to remove these two entries in order to remove these two entries i'll again take the help of list comprehension only right so i'll just say i want only those elements which are non-zero values right if element is not equal to zero clear so we basically say this list comprehension with conditionals okay and after this i would like to again print this and then check out if this is working fine okay now let us try to rerun this with the same input six five four four two two and eight clear right now i need to repeat this operation as long as there are some sticks available right for that what i'll write do it is i'll just say that all these operations i need to put this into a loop so i'll use a while loop while the length of this okay and as long as this length of this sticks right the or you can say the number of sticks what you have it is not equal to zero meaning if it is greater than zero i would like to repeat this operation okay fine clear and do i need to print the intermediate steps okay not required i just need to print this right this one is actually not required fine so i'll just comment this okay fine you can just see this six five four four two two and eight right initially there were six sticks after removing these two sticks of the after the first iteration you'll be left out with four sticks and after that even after removing this then you'll be left out with two more sticks and after that after removing this one you'll be left out with one stick and in case if you want to know what are the left out you can just uncomment it and then you can rerun this particular program let me try to close this window and then rerun this right okay six five uh i need to rerun this six five four four two two and eight right things are fine so okay remember we need to only print this six four two and one okay we don't need to print this in the hacker rank platform so we'll just comment this so your program is done we'll take this particular program we'll put into our hacker rank platform guys fine okay let's copy this let's move into hacker rank platform okay so we'll just go down here let us select python 3 here right remember this is the code which is given okay 
So if you want, you can only write the code for cut the sticks or you can re remove this entire thing and then paste whatever the code we have done. So we'll try to run this with sample uh, test cases as passed and finally clear guys. So we have done this program and this is the code. Thank you.